Apple, we're getting in breaking inputs on what just the finance minister of the country, Nirmala Sitaraman, has just spoken. There are reports uh, being received of some hospitals who are denying cashless insurance. Spoken to the chairperson, IRDA Shri S.C. Kuntia here, to act immediately here on this. On the, on, in, in last year, in fact, which was March 2020 last year, COVID included as part of comprehensive health insurance. In fact, this was something that the government had decided which uh, private insurance companies had to follow suit. Cashless available at networked or even temporary hospitals here. So th there is an issue here basis on uh, denial that is coming in from the hospitals. We have with us my colleague, our news editor, Avni Raja, explaining this further to us here. Uh, yes, Avni, please go ahead. These are reports bases across hospitals in, uh, in the country. And uh, the finance minister now has spoken on this. Yes, absolutely, Sahar. And it has been brought to the finance minister's attention that uh, there are hospitals which are denying cashless insurance uh, at this point in time because obviously a lot of people uh, who uh, the bills are uh, you know piling up and people are opting for cashless insurance but hospitals are not being as, as accommodating so she says that uh, she's spoken to the uh, uh, insurance regulator uh, the chairman of the insurance regulatory authority and asked them to act immediately now this is important because as of march 2020 covid was included as part of the comprehensive health insurance plan so if you had opted for any kind of a comprehensive health insurance plan, automatically you would have COVID, which is included as part of that. And health, uh, the health insurance companies were bound to that. And this included cashless. And as she has pointed out, even at networked or even temporary hospitals, which are being set up, COVID hospitals, it's supposed to be available. But obviously that's not happening at this point in time. Uh, she goes on to give some figures about uh, how, how much claims have been settled. 8,642 crore worth of claims have been settled. Uh, but uh, she has said that uh, the insurance regulator will be directed to prioritize okay. uh, the settlement of COVID cases. And importantly, said even daily consultations are uh, covered. So all of this is actually covered under insurance. But again, it's the implementation. It's how hospitals uh, choose, uh, the insurance companies rather choose to sort of, uh, you know, fast track these claims. And now hospitals uh, agree or in this case don't agree, uh, you know, for uh, giving cash in. That's right. Uh, this is, of course, now being pointed out by the finance minister. We, we're hoping that this can further be facilitated uh, to work on ground. This is a very important aspect of relief that would come in here for COVID families. Avni, thanks for getting us those details.